In this lesson, we'll attempt to make some complex things simple for you. Today, you'll begin operating complex aircraft. Before we depart on our lesson, let's quickly review the takeoff and climb checklist. Click the kneeboard icon on the accessory panel or press F10. Then select the checklist tab, scroll down and review the takeoff and climb checklist. When you're done, close the checklist and we'll depart. We're ready to go and the pattern is clear, so let's blast off. So let's release those brakes and apply full power and take to the air. Remember to make a quick glance at the engine instruments after full power is applied. We want to catch any potential problems while we're still on the ground. There's 90 knots. Let's rotate to an attitude that will give us an initial climb speed of 105 knots. The VSI is showing a positive rate of climb and there's no more usable runway, so press G to raise the gear. I could say gear up, but you might think I said cheer up and I know you're already happy. Check the gear lights to make sure the gear has indeed retracted. We're at 500 feet AGL, so let's lower our nose to the cruise climb attitude and climb at 136 knots. If you haven't already done so, trim the airplane to maintain this attitude. Now that we're at a safe maneuvering altitude of 1,000 feet above the field, let's set the power and RPM for the climb. Speed up. First, we'll reduce the manifold pressure to 25 inches, and then we'll reduce the RPM to 2,500. Speed up. As I'm sure you remember from ground school, this airplane requires us to move the throttles forward to maintain the desired manifold pressure during the climb. For every thousand feet of altitude gain, we'll have to add approximately one inch of manifold pressure. So let's move the throttle forward right now to keep the manifold pressure at 25 inches. Let's turn to a heading of 100 degrees to head toward the practice area. I want you to climb to and level out at 5,000 feet. We're coming up on 5,000 feet, so let's begin the level off. First, 
lower the nose while keeping the power at its present setting and let the airplane accelerate to a cruise speed of 170 knots. With this airplane, it's okay to feel the need for speed. So trust your thrust and don't reduce the power until you're at 170 knots. When reaching that speed, let's reduce the manifold pressure to a value of 22 inches. Then we'll reduce the RPM to 2300. These will be our cruise power settings. Don't forget to use the trim to relieve the control pressure whenever you make big changes like this. Based on the present engine temperatures, we should close the cowl flaps to prevent our engines from overcooling and turning our pistons into little icebergs. Let's close both of them now. Now that we're in level flight, let's see how to make this bigger, faster airplane descend. Larger airplanes always present one problem to pilots, and that is trying to get them down. They move fast and, as a result, don't come down as fast as we want them to. You can, however, use the faster speed capability of a complex airplane to help you descend if you start your descent soon enough. Let's try this. I want you to keep your manifold pressure where it is and lower the nose to about 4 degrees below the horizon to establish a speed of 210 knots. Maintain the speed until reaching 3,000 feet, then level out. You're also operating in the airspeed indicator's yellow arc, which isn't used during great sunsets. It's okay to fly in this speed range as long as the air is smooth. Pull back on the stick. We're coming up on 3,000 feet, so let's begin our level out now. You're too high. Descend. Let's turn left to a heading of 010 degrees. Otherwise, we're going to need to go back and get your passport because we'll end up in another country. Now I want you to climb back to 5,000 feet. I want you to see how we manipulate the throttle and propeller controls when entering a climb. From our ground school lessons, I'm sure you recall that you must first increase the RPM to that appropriate for a climb, then follow this with an increase in manifold pressure. So let's raise the nose now to the climb attitude for a 136 knot cruise climb and increase the RPM to 2,500. Pull back on the stick. Now let's increase the manifold pressure to 25 inches.
Don't forget to open those cowl flaps to keep the engines cool. Use that trim too. We're coming up on 5,000 feet, so let's level out and accelerate to 170 knots. You're too low. Climb. Then reduce power to 22 inches first, followed by a reduction in RPM to 2300 in that order. Remember, these are our cruise power settings. Don't forget to close those cow flaps too. Lowering the gear is another way to get this airplane to descend quickly. Before we can do this, we need to slow the airplane down to the maximum gear extension speed, which on this airplane is 152 knots. We're going to reduce the manifold pressure to 15 inches while holding level flight and slow the airplane down to 152 knots, then begin our descent. I must mention that we really should only reduce the manifold pressure approximately one inch per minute to slow the airplane down. This would keep the engines from overcooling. For the purposes of training, we'll make things happen faster with larger power reductions. So reduce the power to 15 inches and slow down now. Keep the airplane in level flight as you reduce the power. There's 152 knots, so lower the gear. Be prepared to compensate for a slight pitch change when the gear is lowered. Always check to see that you have three green lights after the gear has been lowered. Now I want you to lower the nose and begin a descent at the present power setting of 15 inches to 3,000 feet. Since the maximum gear operating speed is the same as the maximum gear extension speed, we'll keep the speed at 152 knots. Notice how the airplane is descending at nearly 1,200 feet per minute at this slower speed. You can also count on the airplane to slow down more quickly as the nose is raised. Remember to reduce the power one inch of manifold pressure per thousand foot of descent to keep it at 15 inches. When we level off, we're going to do so at a speed of 120 knots. We'll be adding some flaps and level flight attitude to simulate how we fly this airplane in the traffic pattern. Pull back on the stick. 